lead Salesforce practice at Royal Cyber. Um, so today we are here to uh, to conduct uh, you know uh, our podcast episode on Salesforce B two C commerce integration with Salesforce Order Management System. Um, I have with me today Salman, uh, you know, who's our uh, tech lead for Salesforce Order Management System. Salman comes with, uh, you know, with uh, extensive experience when it comes to Salesforce Order Management System. Um, you know, he has a couple of, uh, you know, uh, extensive case studies under his belt uh, when it comes to implementation of Order Management System. Uh, welcome, Salman. Thank you for uh, for Thank giving us your time today. Um, Thank you so much, Lala. All right, so uh, starting with Salman, um, I would like to know uh, first, uh, you know, uh, how Salesforce OMS is, uh, is you know, uh, connected with Salesforce B2C commerce. I know that there's a there's out of the box built in integration when it comes to the integrating Salesforce B2C commerce with Salesforce uh, OMS or even with other Salesforce uh, clouds. So how do you define this integration when it comes to Salesforce B2C Commerce and Salesforce OMS? So basically, Lala, uh, Salesforce provides an out-of-the-box configuration between all the cross clouds, which such as B2C com uh, Commerce Cloud, Service Cloud, Sales Cloud, Marketing Cloud. But the main connection is being built while talking about OMS. It's the connection between uh, Commerce Cloud and OMS, which is uh, you can say that more easily uh, connected with each other, such as we just have to enable one setting, which I can I'll just give you a walkthrough of that. So basically we have the tenant ID uh, in our Salesforce Commerce Cloud and with that we have to match. We, uh, we can create the connection between our Commerce Cloud and uh, OMS. So we have this in our service cloud, which is the B2C commerce connection. So you can see that we have this tenant ID mapped over here and we have provided the connection types such as the order integration or the self-service omni-channel inventory and there can be multiple connection types such as the need. So this is uh, we have to provide the provision status to them and over here we have to active the integration status. So this is how the integration is being done between Salesforce Commerce, uh, Salesforce Commerce Cloud and order management system. So it's just some clicks which can be done. Excellent. So it means it is it is right there within Salesforce B2C Commerce, uh, you know, as part of the product, as part of the platform, and you just need to configure it instead yeah. of code it and uh, yeah. and have this integration ready between the OMS and, and B2C Commerce. Excellent. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Uh, now, the, I mean, let's say this integration is done. If customer and and I can see it, it is it is it is very quick. I mean, it cannot take more than an hour to to have this configuration done. Now, once the integration is done, the next step is once customer places an order when when it comes to Salesforce B two C Commerce storefront or a website in general. So this order comes uh, because of this integration. This order comes in in Salesforce OMS. Now, once the yeah. order comes within Salesforce OMS, then what are the what are the steps which OMS you know performs or 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 how OMS processes that order once it is re it, it reaches in in Salesforce OMS? So once the connection is being provisioned and this kind of integration integration status is being active, so whenever an order is placed from the B2C commerce side, the order is ingested into the OMS. So first of all, an order is created. I will show you that how the things so this is the OMS console in the service cloud. Basically it has an order management application. So we have our order summaries like all the orders ordered uh, whenever an order is ingested into the OMS, it comes over here. We can see the latest order over here, so we can also filter them and sort them according to our need. So as this is the latest order, so let me show you that just take an example of this order. So this this is the order. So we have all the details over here in the our related section and in the detail section of that. It has the original order associated to it order summaries and all that some billing addresses Our pricing is over here subtotal total with the tax. And if we go into our related section, we have our order summary routing schedules. These are the basically objects which are needed for the omni channel inventory. So 
this this is some other topic that how to uh, configure uh, configure these objects and get the data into that so if we have the fulfillment order over here and we have order product summaries which were being ordered and the shipping shipping address details are over here or the payment summaries are over here so if, if we have any return order the return order will be present over here our credit memo in the case of cancel order the credit memo is created so it will be over here so these are the all details present in the uh, oms uh, against one order and the, we can we can uh, also map uh, multiple custom details if we want to send from sfcc they can be easily mapped with the help of permission sets so we have to just enable them and map the fields so this is how the order is being ingested into the OMS. OK, so it means uh, from from the order capture and order summaries tell, you know, tell the the shipment and, and the fulfillment and then, you know, the refunds and cancellation, everything is being taken care of within uh, within Salesforce, uh, you know, OMS. Salesforce OMS. Yeah. OK, OK, this is good. This is really good. Um, now, uh, Salman, uh, I would also like to know, uh, this is obviously a built-in integration when it comes to Salesforce B2C Commerce um, yeah. and with the rest of the Salesforce uh, clouds, as you mentioned, you know, which are part of the core platform. Uh, yeah. be, you know, uh, let's say uh, sales service marketing uh, and OMS is also being built on, on top of these core platforms, as you just shown that it is there within part of the service cloud as an application. Um, yeah. And also, it does have the similar integration with with out of the box integration with B two B as well as D two C or B two B B two C commerce yeah. because they are also yes. built on top of the same core platform, right? Exactly. Um, so it makes things very easy or or you know uh, quick for for customers who want to have this OMS uh, you know uh, as part of their uh, you know uh, technology space uh, and to to have their OMS business needs order management uh, needs fulfilled. Uh, yeah. Now the question is, what if if you know there is uh, there is any other e-commerce platform? You know, if customer is on let's say. Uh, you know, Shopify or SAP Commerce or or any other third party e-commerce platform, and they still want to make use of Salesforce order management system to to manage and uh, you know uh, process their their orders. So how that integration uh, looks like? So the custom integration between any other platform uh, apart from Salesforce Commerce Cloud, or we are talking about clouds other than Salesforce. So we uh, Salesforce Service Cloud and Salesforce, it has a capability of integrating it uh, with other platforms such as Commerce Tool. It can be Shopify or anything with the help of we can easily integrate it with uh, platform events. We can use platform events or we can we have the endpoints provided by Salesforce for the uh, OMS. We can use them for the order ingestion. So first of all, the order is being ingested and, and along with that order items are being ingested. So uh, I personally have implemented that for, for one of my uh, customer. Uh, it was uh, using the commerce tool, so we implemented using the platform events. So that's how uh, there were two platform events. One was triggering the order details all, and the other was uh, triggering the order item details, and it was associating the order items with the order. And this is how the complete order ingestion was happening uh, between the OMS. So it can be easily integrated, but uh, it has some custom logic to be implemented. Uh, as you as you know that we have to do the custom mapping for the fields for the data coming along from other platforms to Salesforce. So this is how, but it can be implemented. Uh, it is not much difficult. OK, OK, excellent. So it means they have given, uh, you know, this platform events based integrations or the API based integrations to connect with third party e-commerce. Uh, platforms. you know, platforms or even with any other third party external applications or systems. Exactly. Uh, this is good. OK, all right. Um, I think uh, last but not the least is uh, I would like you to please quickly, uh, you know, uh, give us a two minutes walkthrough of uh, the the order management uh, org or the dashboard uh, and the features, uh, you know, so that we can we can have a view of how this looks like uh, and what kind of features we have as part of out of the box 
uh, features of this product, uh, you know, or of this OMS. Right. So we'll take this order along with our uh, explanation. So let's assume we have this order. So it has the order numbers coming up uh, with the detail section first. So we have the original order associated to it. Let me open that. So it has all the details for the order, not the order summary. So the difference between the order and the order summary is whenever an order is placed from uh, any e-commerce site, it, it creates an order first. So it, order summary contains all the information related to shipping, billing and payments and uh, items and order delivery groups and all the details related to the order. But whereas the order contains the information of the order, the amount and the order item which has been placed. So this is the order number which has been sent, which has been mapped from SFCC. So it is same as it is. It has the order amount. It has the billing address over here. So coming into the related section, it, ha it has the order delivery group order product over here and it has the order history. So going back, we have the order life cycle type. It was a managed order, managed order, or it was an unmanaged order. So, billing addresses, subtotal. These are the pricing details over here. And going back to the uh, related section, we have the fulfillment order. So, fulfillment order is whenever an order has to be fulfilled. So, it has to be delivered to any customer. So, we have to create a fulfillment order for that. So, it will track all the order tracking that in which from which phases phases the order is being uh, processing. So in the detail section, we have the account which is being associated, the order delivery method, the order summary invoice, the type which is from the it has to be route from the warehouse. We have to deliver that fulfilled to address, fulfilled to email, fulfilled to location, phone, and again the pricing details over here. So we have the shipment section over. We have fulfill, fulfillment order products, the uh, items which has to be fulfilled. The shipment details. If I'll come over here. It has the destination location, ship to name, order summary associated to it, the items which has to be shipped, fulfillment order. Sure. So same. Yeah. yeah. So this is how the orders uh, OMS holds all the information of the order. So it has the order product summaries such as let me select this product. So it was the product which was being ordered. So it, it has the product SQ, the original order product which has been associated to order the product, product code, order summary, order delivery group, description which has been sent uh, which is uh, which is which OMS is getting from SFCC. So the unit sure. price, list price, and these are the all details which are being uh, sent from SFCC and are stored in OMS. Okay. So we have all the payment details over here too. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so right. the payment. Yeah, so I think from the you, you, what you're saying is from from the order capture uh, OMS has all these individual modules and the components which actually take takes care of processing the order, uh, you know, from order capture till till the fulfillment and then the cancellation and the refund if happens, the, yeah, yeah, which includes payments, text, invoicing, everything. Um, okay, I think uh, this is good. Uh, this is good, Salman. Uh, I think what we will do is we'll we'll have another episode on each of these components where we are going to go into the details of each of these components, which includes uh, payments, uh, order captures, uh, products, uh, you know, right. and, and the text. Um, and uh, for the for the audience and the listeners, uh, we are actually uh, have initiated this uh, you know series of podcasts for for the OMS, uh, you know, for Salesforce order management system. And we are in, in, in our upcoming episodes, uh, you you will see that we are, we are going to touch base each of these components which are part of the OMS plus uh, the AI piece which has been embedded as also as part of uh, this OMS, uh, how the, you know, the, the AI chatbot is getting integrated yes. with Salesforce OMS. Uh, plus yeah. how uh, we can do the social media, social channels integrations uh, as part of the OMS, uh, 
plus how the omni channel, the inventory works, uh, how the synchronization happens at the real time between the OMS and the Salesforce B2C commerce or, or any other e-commerce platforms. So we are going yes. to have uh, you know episodes on each of these topics and uh, we'll look forward, uh, you know, uh, Salman having you in our next episodes. And uh, today, uh, thank you for your for your time. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have another episode coming in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank Salman. you so much, Lala. Thank you so thank much. You. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye.